Okay, so um, here we've got my Panasonic DVD recorder. It's a DMR EX75. It's about five years old. Um, it was quite expensive at the time, and it developed a fault right now, which is it won't pick up any Freeview channels. Doesn't matter how many times you scan it, it just won't pick up any channels. So I've been online myself, and um, some other people have had the similar sort of problem. And what they reckon it is is um, capacitor underneath the circuit board. So here's the machine and here's the circuit board here so I've undone some of the screws and um, we'll lift it off just pull out a tab in there that one comes out several screws and now you can see some capacitors underneath apparently um, this one here is the main fault it's a 6.3 volt capacitor and also there's another one alongside it which I'm going to change as well I think um, been on eBay your capacitors and there's there's the replacement it's about uh, 30 or 40 P each so you can see on the top here apparently this one's completely flat whereas um, my suspect one here is slightly domed on the top and sometimes they'll go sort of an orangey or black color on the top which shows that they've blown. I mean, my, this one here, I can't definitely see it's blown, but it does feel, um, like I say, billowed on top. So, um, so, I've got this one, and I've got a couple of other smaller capacitor here to replace that one. So what I've got to do now is just um, strip the whole carcass down and uh, get to the back of those capacitors to solder them in. Obviously, it's a bit of a fiddly job, so... Um, the capacitor was running about a couple of quid, but ended up spending 15 quid on um, a headlamp or a magnifying head, head visor to actually put it in. You've got all your different lenses in here. And then for doing, your, for doing any work like this, it magnifies like that. You choose all your different magnifications and then you'll be able to solder with, um, you know, with a, a lot more faith than with the human eye. So, um, the next thing to do after you've removed that circuit board is then to remove the hard drive. There's four screws there. And then the second thing to do is to take the actual fascia panel off. And that's just a series of clips around the side. And that slides off. Right, the next thing after that is I've taken out the um, the DVD drive. Next I have to loosen this <coughs> panel there and then all the screws along the back and now we are eventually where we want to be. <coughs> Which is basically the, the back of the circuit board. And then to identify a couple of terminals down here somewhere. Which are the ones I need to re-solder. So, as you can see, it's really quite a small little area to solder, so um, um, hence the, uh, the uh, goggles are going to really come in handy there. Right, next thing to do, get all the soldering ready. So this is the capacitor I'm going to change, and i am just used one of these lenses over my iPhone, and it's magnified it up lovely, as you can see. Um, so what's handy is that they're identified, like this one's C1, Five double three, and the other number for the other one. So when you turn it over and look at the other side, you can then identify exactly where it is. Because believe me, it's minute to see. Right, let's get the soldering iron out. So I've removed the um, one of the capacitors here. And I've got a new one to put it back in place. Now a way to identify the capacitor positive and negative. Yeah, a couple of ways really. One it's got a negative sign right here. And the other way is that negative is usually the shorter one of the two. What I've got to do now is tin tin this um these prongs and then they'll um, bond nicely into the into the um circuit board. So tinning is just adding a small amount of solder to the to the wires.
like so. Right, I just bent the um, tabs over a little. It's lovely. That one's solid. So I've just soldered them on there, just going to trim off the tails. Right, <clears throat> that's it, and now just the other one I'm going to do. Right, okay, so now with the um, capacitor soldered in, <clears throat> just a question of reassembling the whole unit, which unfortunately I took apart about a week ago. <laughs> mm, I'll see how many screws I've got left after this. Right, so that's it. Put it all back together. Now take it inside, wire it up, and see if that's fixed it. Here's all my stuff on the hard drive. Just haven't got. Have we got channels? <clears throat> right, no channels. So let's see if we can. Go to the settings and see if it will now pick up the other free view channels. See if all this has been worth it. Auto reset. Let's go for it. Oh yes, here we go. It's now selecting all the channels. Nice one. There you go, up and down the channels. Lovely job, job done.